Hello, right, today what we're going to do is we are going to go and put a slope on <coughs> the bits where the rafters will come across which will also be where the uprights are so that uh, they sit fully on the raft, uh, on the top rails and indeed on the rails when they go on the other side. So I'm just going to go and set up my gauges um, and show you what I'm going to do. Hold on. Okay, so initially what I've done is I've set the marker ga marking gauge to 3 8 of an inch, which is what I've calculated the fall would be um, from front to back for 1 in 7 uh, on the rails. Let's go and do that thing. Up the ladder we go. Show you what we've achieved there, very briefly. Uh, should have achieved. Uh, just about. Right, let's go have a look at that then. So, now what we have is, that comes up to there like that. And so when we have a rafter along here, which will stick out about 8 inches or so that way, it will run up there and can be properly screwed down and that's what, across all of there and that's why we did that I've just got to um, now do the same thing for the rest of them I won't bore you with that, I'll show you when it's done
For <sighs> wondering why I'm using a very old saw for doing this job is because it has a very fine set and that means it cuts a very accurate line with very little tear out. The downside is when the wood is wet it binds very easily. But it's been drying out for a couple of days so it's okay. Get that these screws out of the way because the chisels will go over those otherwise. Yeah. 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 It's quite a nice job with this one. Two default park side. I'll do a review on it at some point. You've got a reasonably freshly sharpened chisel. It's important, even if you buy a new chisel, to just sharpen it. I don't know what I'm to do. Just getting that groove there. Make sure it's marked. Hello. I'm not going to see why they this down.
Let's just swap the screws back in here. The good thing is about gluing and screwing this is that I can take the screws out and try to trip that drop to mount it. more to do and then I should put the top rails on. Hello <coughs> today what we I'm hoping to get done is now uh, to put up the top rails on the sides which I'll come across in a minute. I've already notched these down so that the rafters will sit nicely against those so I've got to get a piece of wood the right length, cut the ends, mind you said that, it's not actually a great deal of gap there. I could just butt that right up there. Uh, and then cut that end off flash, flush. This over here is complicated by the fact that this piece of wood isn't straight. But never mind, I can bend that in when I get to it. So that it becomes straight. Uh, and then I'll screw that together and hopefully the top rail will hold it straight. So what we're going to do first is cut a couple of bits of wood the right length and put the right angle on it. Right, so I've measured the top of that, it's about 91 inches. Uh, I'm going to do a cut. Now what I've done is I've remembered my old school trigonometry to work out the angle and the angle I want is going to be 7.2 degrees because if you do remember any um, secondary school math and trig you'll remember Sokotoa the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse the cos is uh, Sokotoa is the opposite over the no, adjacent over the hypotenuse. The tan is the opposite over the adjacent. In this case, the opposite is 1, and the adjacent is 8, gives us a 1 and 8 gradient. <coughs> and the inverse tan of that is uh, 7.5 degrees, or 7 and a Point 0.2 degrees, so I'm going to do a 7 degree cut on here. And because this is a nice beast, this will actually take a uh, take this wood on its side or flat. It's a very nice um, piece of kit. This evolution. Right, so we're going to do a cut here, put it up, and then mark the other end. Right. Right, chuck that up. Just as you can see, chucked it up there, just going to mark the other end pencil and cut it off to the right length. Thank you. 
that should do it. So we have that rail cut, we now need to screw it on, so we're now going to do the other side. Let's have a quick spin round and look at that. Right, we've got one cut to the end, cut to the right angle. So all we need to do is to just mark this back here. This time I'm paying particular attention to uh, which way everything goes, just nudge it up to the laser. There we go. That is nicely on the line. And there we have it, so now I just need to uh, drill pilot holes and glue the buggers on, or glue and screw them on, which I'll probably do while it's vertical, because that's probably going to be easier. So let's crack on with it. Right, let's get some glue on there and whack the screws in. Right. Take that off before the glue sets on it. That's that rail up. Let's do the other one. Right, just a quick show you. I've now pulled that bar nice and straight all the way up with the use of a G clamp at the top and because there was a gap at the bottom, that little clamp at the bottom as well. So now I just need to drill and screw that in, screw and glue. So let's crack on.
Right, and apart from getting glue all over my hands, that's all done. I'm sure what I can do about that glue in a minute. So, we've got the top rails on. Uh, next I'm going to put noggins in on the uh, back side and then it'll be time to put the uh, oh, plywood on. That will be progress. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, that really helps. And constructive comments welcome.